Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. The purpose of this production is to introduce the high expansion core build-up technique with direct lift-off margins. This technique uses a high expansion core porcelain developed by Dr. O'Brien at the University of Michigan. The material is a magnesia ceramic with a coefficient of expansion of 14.5 times 10 to the minus 6. This ceramic is stronger than the luminous porcelain and is compatible with porcelains designed for use with the porcelain fused to metal restorations. This enables the laboratory to have one porcelain kit for both porcelain fused to metal and porcelain jacket restorations. This high expansion core porcelain fires at 2050 degrees, which is approximately 300 degrees higher than the firing temperature of the crown build-up porcelains. The 300 degree difference allows the margins established in the core porcelain to maintain their shape during subsequent firings. The technique is a combination of the platinum foil for porcelain jacket crowns and the direct lift-off technique commonly used for porcelain fused to metal restorations. The procedure has several steps. One, the platinum foil matrix is constructed in the usual manner as for porcelain jacket crowns. Two, as suggested by Dr. McPhee of the University of Michigan, the platinum matrix is then trimmed to leave the shoulder of the preparation uncovered. Three, the build-up and firing of the first layer is done so that the shoulder of the preparation is not covered. Four, the entire dye is lubricated with a thick mineral oil and the second layer of porcelain is added. The core is carefully removed and fired. 5. The dye is again lubricated and porcelain is added to correct the marginal discrepancy. The rest of the crown is built up in the usual manner using porcelains designed for the ceramo metal restoration. A typical porcelain jacket preparation will be used to demonstrate the technique. The first step involves adaptation of the platinum matrix in the usual manner. Once this is burnished and swaged for close adaptation, the platinum matrix is then removed and with a sharp pair of scissors, the shoulder area is cut off to leave approximately 10 to 20 percent of the shoulder covered past the axiogingival line angle. After the shoulder area is trimmed, the platinum matrix is placed back on the die and the shoulder area re-burnished. It is important to re-burnish this area so that no porcelain will go underneath the platinum foil. A, a usual consistency of porcelain is mixed. The first stage involves building up of the core material for bulk. The shoulder area is not covered. With this technique, thorough condensation of the porcelain must be carried out, otherwise cracking can result. In order to carry out good condensation, we use an ultrasonic condensing unit and condense the core material several times to dry it out extremely thoroughly.
Once condensation is complete, the core is again inspected to see if there are any areas that are too thin. These are then subsequently built up and again condensed. The core material is slightly wetted so that the build up can be added. Once the additions to the build-up are made, condensation is again carried out using the ultrasonic condenser. When the first stage of the build-up is complete, the core is then removed for the first firing. It is placed in the oven at 1300 degrees Fahrenheit and raised to 2050 degrees at the rate of 100 degrees per minute. Once it reaches that temperature, there is a hold time of five minutes. After the core is fired, it is then placed back on the die and inspected for fit. The second stage of the core build-up involves building up of the margin. In order to do this, the die must be well lubricated. Not only the shoulder area, but the entire die is lubricated with a thick mix of mineral oil to facilitate removal. During the second stage, the shoulder area is built up and as well, any areas that are deemed to be too thin can be added to at the same time. It is important to complete the shoulder build up within two or three minutes of applying the mineral oil, otherwise the mineral oil can evaporate and the shoulder will not be lifted off. Again, once the shoulder is complete, condensation is carried out a couple of times for a dense core. The core is then inspected to make sure that the shoulder build-up is complete. To remove the core at this stage, we use a twist-pull action rather than just a straight pull. This enables the core to come off cleanly without leaving any remnants behind on the die.
Once the core is removed, we check the die to make sure that no porcelain is left behind on it. We also check the inside of the crown to ensure that no porcelain has gone up inside the platinum foil. It is then fired using the same cycle without a holding time. Once the core is removed from the oven, it is inspected again, placed on the die and the third stage, which is the correction of the margin, carried out. To do this, the dye is again lubricated entirely with a thick mix of mineral oil. The core is lightly moistened with some water for the porcelain to adhere to it. Porcelain is then added just to the margin area, making sure that no porcelain is carried inside onto the platinum matrix. Once the margin is complete, it is then pushed onto the die and excess porcelain will flow out. The shoulder then is complete by adaptation and again using the ultrasonic condensing unit. Once the core is complete, it is condensed for the final time and smoothed. It is then again removed from the die using a twist pull action and placed in the oven for the third firing. The third firing again involves placing it into the furnace at 1300 degrees Fahrenheit, raising it to 2050 without a hold time. The core is then complete and placed back on the die. Then the crown is built up in the usual manner using porcelain fused to metal porcelains. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu.